After installing the MP, it's important to verify it installed correctly. To do this, go to the extension manager and locate MPD QR code. The downloaded zip file includes an already installed mkrcode.sep file, a templates folder with templates for Tecla structures drawings. Copy the contents of this folder to your templates folder. Typically, this would be the environment or company folder, or you can copy these files to the root directory of your current model. All these templates include graphical fields named QR underscore code. A Kercode rules folder containing JSON files that describe the data for the QR codes. Copy this folder to the root of your environment or into your current models folder. It's crucial to keep the folder and file names unchanged. We will copy these files to the current models folder. You can create up to four different QR codes for main model objects, parts, assemblies, cast units, and drawings. Each QR code is generated based on its own rule that users can edit. Let's create a general arrangement drawing and add a QR code template to it. I'll add templates designed for drawings to the general arrangement drawing. These templates generate a QR code encrypting the project and drawing attributes. Any information listed in the properties and custom attributes of the project and drawing can be included in the QR code. For example, the first QR code might contain a link to the 3D model in Trimble Connect, while the next QR code contains the project number and other information. You can open the existing template in the Tecla template editor. In the content type row, you can see which object the QR code will be created for. Rule files, like GodDrawing.json, are text files that can be edited in any text editor. I recommend using Notepad++ with syntax highlighting for convenience. When you open a file, you can edit the information that will be displayed in the QR code the next time the drawing is opened. For instance, type, project, indicates that the rule pertains to project attributes. Field, info2, the attribute name whose content will be recorded in the QR code. Prefix, text that will be added before the attribute name. Postfix, text that will be added after the attribute name. Required, true or false. If set to false, the information described by this rule will not be added to the QR code. The QR code creation process happens when a drawing is opened or created. The drawing reads the rule and generates the QR code based on it. If there's an error in the rule, an error message will appear on the drawing. Assemblies drawings, you can create a QR code on an assembly drawing. These use the same templates, but the QR codes are generated based on rules for assembly drawings. You can also add a QR code to an assembly drawing that may include information recorded in the project and assembly properties, like assembly position, quantity, and weight. Rule files for assembly drawings, such as assembly drawing.json for assemblies, allow you to edit the information that will appear in the QR code. For cast unit elements, the process is similar to that for assemblies. Parts On a part drawing, you can add a QR code template that encodes information stored in the properties and custom attributes of the project and the part itself. Additionally, you can include a QR code on the drawing that contains information from the project and drawing properties. QR codes for parts can be placed on any sheet, in tables, and on part labels, while QR codes for part drawings can only be placed on the part sheet. By editing rule files for part drawings, such as part drawing.json for parts, beam.json for beams, plate.json for contour plates, and part.json for other parts, you control the information that will appear in the QR codes. If a part is a beam, the QR code is generated according to the beam.json rule. For a contour plate, it uses plate.json, and for other parts, part.json. These rule files might have the same content but different names. Different names allow users to display varied information for different types of parts. For instance, for a beam, it might specify the length, and for a plate, the area of the part. As for other model elements like rebar and bolts, QR codes can be added later if needed.